Hey everyone, it's Daryl, aka Cutterpunk, back again. I've got my K&K Force set up. I just plugged in the power cord and I'm ready to turn it on for the first time and go through the Wi-Fi setup. Ooh, epileptics beware. So let's see. I have the user manual pulled up on my iPad. So let's see. The power light will come on and the cutter will initialize. The carriage will move to the right side of the cutter. Very good. You will notice a series of quick flashing lights inside of the force, followed by a series of slower flashing blue lights, which looks like what's happening now. Uh, it says it should take about 75 seconds. And just to FYI, the lights really don't flicker uh, like this. It's a really smooth uh, dim. It's just the camera doing this. Alrighty, so moving on to section 2.03, uh, it says once a steady light appears after around 75 seconds, remove the adapter. Let's do that. And that says wait until the light turns red and then plug the adapter into the same USB port again. Oh, I hope that was the bottom right one. Says the light inside the force should now turn green. You are now ready to connect to your computer and smart device. Alrighty. So let's see what we have here. Let me start recording my screen. Alrighty. So it says there should be a K and K Force Wi-Fi network that should appear. There it is. Let's click on that. All right, that's connected. Oh, this pops up automatically. All right, so here I'm going to pick my Wi Fi network, which is Minu. Enter my Wi Fi password. It's not mass, so anyone who knows where I live, feel free to come over and leech my network. I guess that's it. Let's try these settings. Awesome. Let's see, let's copy this IP address. And oh, I'm not sure I was supposed to click that. Yes. All right, it looks like it disconnected and is reconnecting to my normal Wi Fi automatically. I think, according to the manual, I was supposed to do that myself. Let's put in this IP, see what happens. Hooray! Awesome. I guess we're done.